Hey guys and welcome back. Today I've got for you a very long overdue product empties but today we're going to be focusing in on one brand so you've probably guessed by the title that that brand is Soap and & Glory and I have used up quite a lot of products over the past year so I thought it would be a great opportunity to share with you my final thoughts on lots of products all in one video. So I have a very big case of Soap & Glory empties so let's get right into the video. So first of all I think I'm going to home in on body products so let's start off with the Righteous Butter. So I have not only one empty pot of this but I have two, three and then I have a half um, finished pot as well so I have three and a half empty pots of this so you've probably guessed by now that I will be buying this again and the reason why is this is such an amazing luxurious feeling moisturizer it's a beautiful thick butter that sinks into the skin pretty quickly actually and this is a really great one for night I love using this if I have a shower at night I will put this on after I get out and the next morning I wake up with really moisturised, smooth feeling skin and I love the smell of this as well, it's got such a comforting smell, I think it's sort of Soap & Glory's signature scent, it's very mild, not too overpowering and this is just such a great butter. So obviously, like I said, I will be buying this again. So the other body moisturising empty I have is actually a body milk. So it is the Smoothie Star Deep Moisture Body Milk. And again, this is a very moisturising body lotion. The only difference um, with this compared to the butter is this is a milk, so it has more of a runny consistency. But again, I loved using this at night and if you saw my um, monthly favourites a couple of months ago, then you'll know that I absolutely love this. It's super moisturising and perfect for anyone who has very dry skin as it has almond, cocoa, yoghurt, oat and honey in it. And this just smells like a really nice luxurious yoghurt and I will definitely be buying this again. So next I have a few shower gels. So let's dive right into um, one that I've got two of and that is the Sugar Crush Body Wash. So I will be buying this again absolutely love this of a morning it has a really nice zesty fresh smell perfect for sort of waking you up it's a really brilliant size it's got 500 mils inside um, so it's good value for money I think this is about eight pounds but these last for ages Ben and I actually share one of these and in fact I do have another sugar crush on the go in the shower so I will be buying this again, I just love the smell of this and if you do love that zesty smell, a bit like the natural source shower gel, if you've ever tried any of them then you will love this. So the other shower empty is the Clean On Me Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel. So this is more of a comforting, moisturising shower gel and it actually has a built-in body lotion so it is very moisturising um, but I would say if I had to pick between this and the Sugar Crush I would go for the Sugar Crush although I like the Righteous Butter smell and I think this is the same smell there's just something about this that works for me better with regards to a body wash but if you do um, want something that's more moisturising and you don't like anything that has a zesty smell you prefer something that's a bit more sort of milky then this would definitely be for you so I would buy this again but if I had to choose I would get the Sugar Crush so moving on to body scrubs I have one scrub empty called the scrub of your life 
Now this is a really great one if you again have dry skin or maybe your skin feels really scaly. This does the trick quickly at smoothing your skin. I actually use this in the shower again at night um, and I use this with exfoliating gloves as well and it has that perfect grainy gritty texture so it really smooths out your whole body and this paired with the Righteous Butter is an absolute dream team for moisturized smooth skin. Right so next I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of hands and um, feet cream empties or foot cream empties. So the first one I have is the good old best-selling hand food. So I have the classic um, scented one in the large size which is the 125 ml and then I have a little travel one which is the 50 ml but I also have um, the ham food in the sugar crush scent in the 50 ml. I think this came in a Christmas gift pack so I'm unsure as to whether these they sell this on their on its own. Um, so I will um, do a bit of research and find out for you and I will link it down below. But with regards to this, I will definitely be repurchasing this again. This is such a fantastic hand moisturizer. It's really um, moisturizing, obviously. It really helps with dry skin. It sinks into the skin quickly. It has a beautiful, um, again, classic soap and glory smell, so it's not too overpowering. And it's got sort of like a thick butter consistency. However, don't be fooled, it does sink into the skin really quickly. And I actually have the large one by my bed. I always keep this by my bed. And then the smaller one I've been carrying in my gym bag and just using it on the way to and from the gym. So I will be buying this again, but I think I have to say that if I had the choice between the Sugar Crush and the original, I would probably buy the original over the Sugar Crush. Um, although I love the shower gel Sugar Crush scent, I just prefer the more comforting smell in the hand cream. So I also have an empty of the Heal Genius Foot Cream. This is in the smaller sample size, so the 50 ml, but I will for sure be buying this in the full size. Again, this is just like the ham food. It's super moisturizing for the feet and it's perfect for any time of year. So now I would be using this at night. So what I usually do is I will file my feet with a foot file before I get in the shower. Then after I get out of the shower, I will pop this on, just sort of lather it all over my feet and then pop some socks on and then I'm good to go. And then the next morning I wake up and I have super moisturized, super soft feet. So I will definitely be buying this again. It's such a great one. Again, it comes in the original um, Soap and Glory signature scent. And if you do want something that's a little bit more affordable, this is a great alternative to the L'Occitane um, foot butter. If you kind of can't stretch, your budget can't stretch to that, this is a really nice dupe. So I've actually just found another hand empty and it is the handmade hand cleansing gel. So this is an antibacterial gel and this is in the original scent but I also think they do this in the sugar crush scent. However, I do really prefer it in this scent so I will be buying this one again. It's a really nice size, it's 50 ml so it's perfect if you're traveling or to pop in your bag. But I actually use this, um, I have it on my makeup vanity and I'll use it before I do my makeup just so my hands are really nice and clean. And this sinks in straight away and this doesn't dry out your hands either. So I will definitely be buying one of these again. So finally, I have a few skincare bits to share with you guys and also one makeup product. So let's go in with the skincare first and I'm gonna start with this cleanser. So this is the Soap and Glory Vitamin C Facial Wash. I have this in the 350 ml, so it just comes in this one size, so it's absolutely giant and lasts forever. 
but unfortunately I won't be buying this again for me this is just kind of one of those nothing cleansers it has those little beads in that kind of annoy me because they kind of get everywhere um, and it just didn't really do anything for me I have had good things about this but for me personally it's just a nothing cleanser and I prefer a lot of other cleansers that I could recommend you guys. So I won't be buying this one again. Now one cleanser that I would recommend you and obviously I will be buying again is the Soap and Glory Ultimelt. I think I've mentioned this in skincare routines and things like that, but this is a wonderful jeep for the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. It's a really nice creamy, buttery cleanser, perfect, perfect for getting off makeup, and it's a great one for nighttime if you do a double cleanse. Um, this is a really nice size and actually this lasts me always quite a long time. It is 100 mils and I will be buying this again and also it comes with a muslin cloth as well. Now guys, I have a confession to make. This next product I really wasn't into to start with. However, the more I used it, the more I fell in love with it. And so I will be buying it again. And it is the Speed Plump All Day Super Moisture Marvel Face Cream. So quite a mouthful to say, but this is very hydrating and moisturizing on the skin. It's ideal for dry and dehydrated skin, and it feels refreshing and lightweight on the face. And it's a great one um, for putting on before you pop on your SPF in the morning, as it just sort of sets the face up for the day and just keeps it really nice and hydrated throughout the day as well. So the last two skincare empties are face masks and I actually have a whole video dedicated to all of the new Safe and Glory face masks so I'll link that down below but the first one I have for you is the Super Hydrating Miracle Moisture Mask and this is actually from the same family as the Face Moisturizer so it's from the Speed Plump family and this is a gel face mask so it comes in two pieces and you just pop it on and it really helps again hydrate the skin it's super refreshing and it's a great one actually to pop in the fridge um, before you use it if you are feeling really tired and you just need a boost to your skin it's also a wonderful one for travel as well and of course i will be buying this one again then the other one is the what appealing purifying declog mask you actually get two um, uses out of this so two pots and if you've seen the demo this is a peel off mask um, and it's great if you just need to extract um, lots of stuff out your skin so if you have really clogged up skin or spotty skin this definitely does the trick at getting it all to the surface however the only thing that puts me off buying this again is the fact that it is a peel off mask I really don't like that sensation so I don't think I will be buying this one again although it did work it would be great if they did this in sort of a different kind of formula um, and with regards to the other masks uh, within the face mask series I will be buying all of them again there's also um, some under eye patches which are wonderful if you're traveling or super tired or great for a night out um, but I also have a blog post about all of these so I'll link that down below okay guys so I have one final product and it is a makeup um, product so it is the solar powder bronzer and I will be buying this again. I featured this in my top 10 drugstore bronzers worth buying video. This is a really nice one. It's actually got two different shades in it, but when you mix them together, it's really nice and natural on the skin. It's non-orange, and it's just a perfect one if you do have fair skin like me. It blends in beautifully, and it's a really nice all year round um, bronzer, so you can sort of use the one darker size, side if you're a little bit more tanned or to contour, and then you can use the lighter side in the 
winter months or like me you can mix them together but I definitely will be buying this one again as well. So guys that concludes my Soap and Glory product empties. Give this video a thumbs up if you did find this helpful and you want me to do a similar thing in the future, like a one brand, or maybe I'll just do a dedicated skincare empties or something like that. Definitely let me know in the comments below or give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more inspiration. And if you did miss my last video, you can go ahead and click on the picture link in the middle and that will take you to that video. Have a wonderful rest of the day guys or whatever you're doing and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next one. Take care, bye.